What's up, y'all? Welcome back in the shop. I've been messing around here at the house, building a couple parts for my tow truck wheel lift build. And uh, I got a real cool tip, something I figured out here for all you metal workers and fabricators. And uh, I also got a tool review, so let's get into it here. So this is what I've been doing. This part right here is the part that's gonna weld to the frame that I built on my truck. And uh, this is the pivot point for the main boom on my wheel lift. And what I wanted to show you, these holes here, this is three quarter inch thick, a half inch and then a quarter inch, solid steel. And I drilled these with a hole saw. And uh, the tip that I have is I needed basically the exact size hole that the hole saw would drill if you know anything about hole saws, the pilot bit in the middle, especially when you're drilling metal, will wobble really bad. Therefore, you got a hole about a sixteenth or better of an inch larger than the actual hole saw. And that's the problem I was having. So what I come up with, I took the pilot bit out, and this is the hole saw I used. Took the pilot bit out of it, and... I had this piece left over. This is the bushing that I used for the main boom. Uh, and I got bronze oil light bushings in there on the boom. Uh, I cut this piece of metal off of this angle iron here, bent it around a socket, and I uh, made a little bushing that would slide over top of here and slides just in here. And uh, you can see the two tack welds here. I tack welded this to my piece here and use that as a pilot and obviously I lubricated everything and uh, what I normally use for cutting oil is transmission fluid I use that for drilling oil tapping oil all that seems to work really well and uh, lubed it all up real good and uh, no pilot bit at all just use that to keep it centered and uh, drilled right through it and I can't say enough good stuff about this set here this isn't even mine. I borrowed this from one of my guys at the shop. Uh, 13 piece hole saw kit by Linux. This kit's been absolutely amazing. I don't know how much it cost, but I'm definitely going to be looking to get one. And I've tried for metal cutting hole saws. I've tried Irwin. I've tried Morris. I've tried a couple of the other ones out there. And uh, one of the things that always happens is you start chipping the teeth off. And it's really hard not to. They don't necessarily just get dull on you, they just chip off. And I've been using his set here, and I've drilled, I can't even tell you how many holes through, I mean, thick stuff, half inch thick, three eighths thick, and they just keep keep going, keep going. And uh, I don't even know what they made this stuff out of. I mean, it's obviously steel, but these are some good, some good freaking hole saws. I'm definitely going to find out how much this kit costs and get me some one. Because I do enough metal work that I'll make good use of that. And if it can drill through that thick, I mean, this whole saw here, I probably drilled through a total of, if you add up all the pieces, I don't know, six inches straight of metal. And uh, to do that, I mean, that's a pretty good hole saw. And you can see it's still got all the teeth. I think what, I chipped off one tooth. Looks like I chipped off one tooth doing all that metal work. And uh, it cuts a really nice hole too. You can see it's got a few kind of funky looking score lines, but that's kind of typical when it grabs the shavings on their way out. Uh, these are the pieces that I drilled out. this in here huh? I mean that just fits in there really nice and uh, that way beats cutting it out with a torch than taking a high speed grinding bit and cutting it all true and round if you're into any of the metal type stuff I mean even woodwork these hole saws man get you a set I just can't see enough good stuff about them for 
I mean, I, I would have never believed it if, if I hadn't seen it for myself because I've tried drilling metal before with hole saws, even the ones they rate as metal cutting hole saws. And these, these just work really well. And uh, I might look up, see what this kit costs and see about putting some information up in the comments or description of this video, but I don't think it can be too bad. And uh, I know Linux makes some really nice Sawzall blades and stuff like that. And uh, you'll pay some pretty good money for it, but, but these are outstanding as far as hole saws go. So if you are cutting very many round holes, I mean, I know in the past I've used hole saws for cutting holes for like trailer lights and stuff, the recessed ones. And uh, if you do anything like that or anything where you need to cut a round hole in some semi-mild steel, I mean, even even like this green piece is kind of structural and it still cut right through that, no problem. But I get you a set of these and they don't really have a, I don't know if it's a part number or not. It ain't gonna focus too well, there you go. 1786647. That might be the number or something, but 13 piece Linux hole saw set. I'd highly recommend getting you some of them, and I'm definitely going to be looking into getting me my own set. But yeah, I got another video coming up on Friday of uh, I'm putting all this stuff actually on the truck itself, and I've been doing some frame prep and stuff on that, so stay tuned for that, and uh, if you like my videos, you know what to do. I appreciate you watching. Until next time.